So you've been using Canva for quite some time now, but Canva is starting to roll out a lot of new features. So I want to share with you seven features that you may not have heard about and will also help you save time when creating. Let's get into it. So the first one that I wanna share with you is how to change colors quickly. So here we have a template that is inside of the membership and I wanna be able to change it to the my brand colors. So I'm gonna share with you how I do that. So first I'm gonna look at the project manager. Here, all of the colors are the same and I wanna be able to change it over to my brand colors. So I'm gonna select one of those and I'm gonna select one of the elements and I'm gonna switch it over to one of my brand colors. Okay, so at the bottom, it pops up to change all. Anything that was that color will now be changed to my hot pink color. And as you can see, both of those have changed. If I go back over to my project manager, it has also changed on the other slides as well that had that specific color. So I'll move on and I'll do the same thing for the screen. And I'll change all of that green color to the blue. Now with the fonts, you'll have to change that on your own. So you'll have to change all of the fonts to that color. And as you can see, all of the colors that was once green is now navy blue. And then I'm gonna do the same for the other elements. I'm just changing the other colors to the colors that I want for this specific graphic. And once I have all of my colors uh, the way I want it, Sometimes I may have to look back into my project manager just to make sure that all of the colors are matching my brand colors. And once I get them all together, now I have a perfectly branded graphic template that I can use throughout any other project that I may have. This latest feature is one of my favorite. So as you can tell, I do have already a mock-up from the element section, but what if I wanted to do it a different way? So I just selected one of my images and I went up to effects. And here we have smart mock-ups right here. So this will make things so much easier. So if you don't wanna to have to search for mockups and elements, you can simply go right up to effects and find the mockup that you like. And I really like the mockups with no background. So that way I can be able to use those mockups on any type of graphic. And because it's a horizontal, picture I want to make sure that I'm picking something that will be able to display it very well so I'm choosing a laptop screen and if it's vertical you want to choose a iPad or a phone mock-up and here I'm going to show you the different types of laptop mock-ups that they have And moving forward, this is one of my favorite features, and this is adding drop shadows. Pick one of your freebie images that you already uploaded, and go over to effects, where if you scroll down, you will be able to find shadows. Click on the see all, and there you go. You have all of the shadows that you need to add some depth to your graphic. 
Adding shadows is a great option if you're looking to make the elements in your design really stand out. You can also add another picture with the same shadows if you want to add a little bit of layer to your image as well as also showcasing what's inside of your freebie or workbook or ebooks or any other digital products. So as you can see here, I'm changing one of the layers and putting it back. And this leads me into how to use Canva layers. To adjust these layers, you can go to the position tool and send the object to the back with the behind tool or forward with the forward tool. So here I'm using another shape, but you can use any type of element or text or image and they can sit in front or behind one another, creating an invisible layer. Another new feature that I absolutely love is adding curved text. Now this is great if you wanna create something different with your logos and this is something that I've been really wanting to use inside of the membership with the new brand kits. To create your curved text, click the effects feature in your Canva toolbar. You will see an option that says curved and click this and your text will now have a beautiful curved style and you can also curve it up or you can curve it down. It just depends on how you like it. This next feature allows you to copy one design element to another in the same template. So what you'll do is you'll head up to your toolbar and click on the paintbrush and it will say copy style. And you can simply just click on the style that you want to copy and then click on the other element that you want that you want to change the style to. And you can not only do that for text, but you can also do it for elements. The magic resize tool is gonna be the one that saves you the most time. So when you are in your design file, move up to the top left hand side of the screen and you will see resize. Once you select this button, you will see a number of different sizes. You can search through the templates to find an exact size you would like. You can also select multiple sizes at once. And once you find the size that you like, you can either resize the template that you already have or you can create a new copy of that and it will resize it instantly. And when you do that you may have to resize your elements but it makes for a lot easier instead of doing everything from scratch all over again. These are just a few of my tips and tricks for designing in Canva. I hope these tips and tricks will get you on your way to working more efficiently in Canva because it is such a great resource for business entrepreneurs because of how beginner friendly it is. 
If you liked any of the graphics in this video, you can find them all in the SheBold Stock Membership, where stock photos and templates are there for all of your content creation needs. If you know any other amazing tips that I may have forgot to include, let me know in the comments below. Want to learn more Canva tips? Head to my Canva playlist where I share with you several more ways to use Canva for your business.